people just because just because I want to test out one thing How about charge a battery with a battery let's let's test that out really quick Alrighty, so today, what I got here is an awesome little device. And uh, this little device is gonna help me out in every shape, way, in every way possible. And what I got is the Ryobi 150 uh, watt uh, power uh, inverter. And so this little device is gonna be handy. What it's mainly for is uh, it's a hundred. It's only 150 watts. It's mainly for small ticket items like a lamp or uh, powering up your laptop, charging your phone, a fan, uh, stuff like that. So, because I did think of my friends and I thought of what we could use, what we could test this out on, but it, the items would be too powerful. For this and it, I think it would kill the battery or it might not even work I wanted to try a, a hair dryer on this I wanted to try a, a refrigerator with this there's probably a safety feature in there that it doesn't allow you to do that or it's gonna completely destroy and melt your uh, battery cells in your battery so let's get to it and uh, open this up obviously there's nothing else that comes with it. You gotta love these. Excuse me, and yes, it does come with, I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna take out the warranty. All right, but what we have here is a power inverter that has two USB ports and a regular outlet port. So, so yes, it's 120 volt uh, alternating current AC, uh, 1.25 amps, and it's 150 watts. So this will be able to do some stuff, but not that much, uh, compared to the amount of stuff that you have in your house. You know that require. A massive amount of wattage uh, but this is gonna be good when it comes to the stuff you want to like if you go camping uh, or if you're going on a little road trip and you uh, need more USB ports or if you want to bring your laptop somewhere like to the park or to wherever you want if you go to a uh, convention or whatnot, and th that's what this would be good for. This would be all. Uh, this is also good for ch uh, if you're if you're a photographer. Uh, this would be good for keeping this in your camera bag with a battery in it, and you could charge your uh, camera batteries through the USB ports. And so yes, but my main purpose of this is to do exactly that: uh, charge. Uh, charge uh, my ca my uh, camera batteries. I want to be able to edit these videos uh, wherever I want. So let's say it's summertime, I want to go outside and edit these videos. I don't need an extension cord because the programs that I use and the external hard drives I use uh, require a lot of battery power when it comes to the laptop. So I wouldn't be able to uh, edit these videos for too long because the battery power in the battery uh, in the computer would just drain. But this, I want to use. It. That's why I get, one, the main reason why I got this. But so what I am going to use is I am going to use the four amp hour battery battery to see what that does. It's at full chooch. So we're going to put that on. Yep, wrong way. That's good. See, I like that. That looks really good. So as you guys can tell, I still have tools missing from my uh, wall. Uh, they are in my car right now. I am still working on 
the space for Laughing Dragon Foundries, which uh, I'm going to go back there after today. The floor will be ready to be installed. But I wanted to bring this and uh, charge up my stuff while I'm there. Oh, it does have a light. All right, so what I have here... Wait, make sure that's... Yep, you're good. What I have here is a couple of tests. So I brought, my, I brought the laptop. This thing is awesome, though. I love this thing. Uh, I can tell you right now that because of the convenience of what this does, I'm going to bring this everywhere I go. Now, you don't have to bring a big 4 amp hour battery. You know, you bring this if you're going to go, like, bring one or two of these if, if you're going to go camping. But for a daily basis, a 1.5 amp hour battery or a 2 amp hour battery will do the trick. And the design is cool. I like that. I like that design like that. I mean, this is unnecessary to have like that. Because no one's going to carry this like this. You know, but it's a part of the design, you know, which it's not bad. So, yes, but we are going to test this out with the 4 amp hour battery. Just because, you know, that's what pe probably most people would use. My battery on my laptop is at 25%. 25%, which is actually quite perfect. So let's do the test on the uh, on this. Of course, as you know, the bigger the battery that you have, the more powerful, the longer this would last. So a 9 amp hour battery would last two times longer or more than this 4 amp hour would. Now, I don't think it's going to activate. It does. You don't have to turn it on or anything. Oh. There we go. Yeah, the power button. The power button right there, it glows. Now I'll turn the light off. Power button glows. Long. See how long that would last. And I'm going to charge uh, my phone at the same time. Let's. See. I'm hoping that this cable works. It does. All right. So what I just did is I. For this portion, because of the duration, I am not shooting in 4K. This is 1080p at 24 frames per second, so it's not going to look as nice. But as you can see, it's in the same camera position. It's a lot wider view because it doesn't crop it by 1.5. So what we're going to do is I'm going to let this, let these devices sit for a while. And I'm going to put a timer on this. So I'm going to put this up here. Alright, so far, 24 minutes to do about 30% on this, and about 30, per, uh, about 40% on, no, like 30, yeah, just about 30% on both devices. 24 minutes so far. So this, uh, the laptop is at 58%, and this is at 50%. So that's actually not too bad. That's not too bad at all. I'm just going to see if this is warm. This does feel warm. That does. And this is at, this 4 amp hour battery is at about 50%. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad so far. You know, like I'm going to, I could continue this. It's cooling. There is a cooler and a uh, cooling system in here because a fan is running. That is that. That's just warm. It's not hot. That's just warm. So, but yeah, it's actually doing pretty good. The uh, this is at sixty percent. It is. I I believe it is a very fast. Oh, the fan went off. I believe it is a very fast charger. This is actually doing very well for uh, what just for a four amp hour battery now that's that's one of the benefits of having uh multiple batteries because you could test this all day long on 
a lot of stuff. But the like I said, the main purpose of this is actually for your portable devices. 50%. So I'm going to let that cool off for a little bit. Put this on charge. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to connect this to this. Yeah, that died. Okay, th this one is for this one. All right, so as you can see, the blinking light, it, it died down. We're gonna plug this in. It is capable to charge a battery with a battery. It's pointless, you don't need to, but <laughs> you are, oh, I turned it off. You can though. Even if you have this combination, it's better than nothing. And look how cute that looks. It looks cute. And I will be doing another uh, video soon on how long stuff actually takes to fully charge. And we'll also experiment more on the other type of stuff you could use with this. But I love it. I'm glad I got it. I've been waiting for this to come out since I saw it on the Ryobi website and now I got it. So this has been my unboxing video and review of the 150 watt Ryobi 18 volt uh, power inverter. Is it worth getting? That depends on your situation. Now, this is the first USB uh, adapter for the battery that they made in the US. Like, they already made one for uh, Australia, I think it was. This has been my review. This is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.